Hello, hello, let's turn off. Yeah, let's turn off desktop audio so you don't hear pinging. Right, hi, etc. Um, welcome, welcome back. I haven't streamed in a little while. Let's uh, see how this goes. I need to uh, paste some things in and then we'll edit the. Uh, there we go. We'll, uh, we'll edit the list in a second so you can see what's up and then we'll go from there. So, uh, today we are going to be playing against. Bruno, hello Bruno. Um, Bruno is in a couple of the vast leagues that I play in, and uh, this is going to be a hyperspace game, so this should be good fun. Uh, and this looks really interesting. He was saying that, uh, um, all right, sick hits or misses? Question mark. Uh, he was saying that he didn't really uh, want to test a new list um, on the stream because you know if it goes horrendously badly, it looks bad. But hey, let's be honest. Uh, I test out new things on here and it goes badly, so everything's fine. And uh, this is new, so as you may have seen from the link or the title, I'm testing out a fire spray. We'll see how this goes. I, I like sprays. Sprays are fun. Never really used them much before. I'm not Phil GC, even though I talk to him quite a lot. Uh, I'm curious to see how this goes. I... Um, Yeah, I'm I'm curious, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna make this half myself. Uh, I'm going to even though I won the roll, uh, I'm gonna take the initiative, which is the incorrect choice in this decision because Fen doesn't get to run around things. Uh, however, I'm curious. Um, sometimes it's quite nice, uh, especially when you're uh, practicing training, whatever you like to call it. Um, <coughs> When I'm running a list on 200 points, I fully expect to lose the initiative most most times. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice to uh, it's nice to give yourself a challenge, but it's also you you're very aware that you're not going to win the initiative every single time. Uh, and if you're not going to win the initiative every single time, then why not get in the practice of the harder matchup? Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to nick his rocks. Uh, where do I want them? The meal. Because he's got a reaper, I'm going to put some rocks on the side here. Reapers work exactly like swarms in terms of uh, countering the rock deployment. You put the rocks at the sides because they're really, really difficult for them to bank in uh, in that case. Right. Let's just post on the American things. I mean, what's the time? It's about midday for them now. So if uh, if those guys fancy watching some X-Wing on a lunch break, uh, we'll go from there. Uh, also, I am eventually going to get this synced up to my YouTube channel, so I will be streaming combined to both YouTube and to Twitch, because I know for a lot of you, Twitch is blocked at work, etc., etc. Of course, I'd never, ever endorse you guys watching X-Wing while you're at work. Why would you do such a thing? I would never do such a thing, ever. Um, but yeah, so we will eventually be getting this link to my YouTube. Obviously, I'm uploading all the videos to my YouTube uh, after this anyway. Um, but those will eventually get put up now. This is the question. So we've got a nice... He's actually... Normally, I put my last rock in the middle here. He's helped me out. Um, no, I don't really want the... Wampa Marek. Vader. So he's. Let, let's just take a close look at his list. It's going to be up on the side in a second. He's got Death Troopers on Vermeil. Right. That makes my decision e easy. Vermeil has to die first. No questions asked. So. Frost is a pretty good blocker here. He's also got a proton bomb. If he's got a. If Koshka Frost has got a proton bomb, I want to make channels. Channels make uh, your life a lot easier to land a proton bomb. Um, if you're looking for it, uh, look at some of Ben Lee's statements about the magic roundabout. Uh, he did a post a little while back um, on how he likes to fly with a decimator back in around 2016 1.0 when he came second in UK Nationals with decimator and phantom. Um, magic roundabout is still very much relevant uh, nowadays, but more for when you're playing against aces, you can force them down these channels. If you get a, if you make them large enough, 
you can make your opponent commit into here and then suddenly the ace doesn't have as much room to boost a barrel so for me I'm very much a jousty list Vader and Marek don't really want to joust my fangs they'll come off worse uh, and yeah so I'm my intention here is to attempt to force Bruno to go through some of these channels in the asteroids and see if I can joust him and catch him. Uh, I imagine he will want to try and outflank me. Um, I'm going to have to be very very careful to make sure that a lot of my slightly squishier fangs don't end up stressed because my fangs love stressing themselves and Death Troopers on Vermeil will make my life a living misery if I let him do that. So, you know. Right, I uh, haven't even thought about deployment here, so how are we going to do for deployment? Um, Fen wants to flank, Koshka and Terry want to joust. I want... I actually want to go straight at him, so I think I'm going to set up over here. And we'll see how that works. Um, right, let's let's get these lists posted up on the stream app because obviously, presently the app is lying to you. Uh, it is not showing what you think it's showing. Uh, oh yeah, hey, by the way, Duke of Hobbies, awesome to see you again. Um, yeah, Death Troopers are ridiculously good. Uh, they are quite frankly the one of the worst experiences I've ever had playing X-Wing, uh, which means they're really good. Um, if you see them kill on sight, name that film reference, if you can. Um, yeah, they're, they're really, really good. They're really underrated. Uh, also, never set up your ships facing the corner. Always set them up facing away from the corner so you have multiple options. Um, right now, obviously, Terok is probably just going to do the hard one, however... I have the option of running away if I want to. Uh, and going from there. So let's get these lists changed so you're not looking at stupid stuff. Right, Yasby uh, or Yasub, so I don't trigger DU. Let's post my one in, edit XWS, paste, submit. There we go, there's me. You can see my list on the side there. And we're not playing against Patrick, we are playing against Bruno. I tend to not put people's surnames on here uh, because that would be, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy with chucking my name on the internet, I know a lot of people aren't, so let's not do that. Uh, what was it? Second one, right, let's get second list up here. Uh, Bruno is set, let's just copy his list, that's not, that's his, there we go, let's paste that one. Right, Fen is on flanking duty here. I, I expect Vader to go on the right-hand side. Um, Fen kind of wants to joust. But I'm going to see if I can sneak him, because Wampa's going to come in here. Fen's actually going to do a hard one and boost. I don't think he's going to expect that. So I'm just going to line up everything on Vermeil in the first couple of, uh, couple of turns. And then hopefully hit him with a proton bomb as Koshka goes straight over the top of him, which would be the plan. Um, not sure on uh, on Koshka here. Let's see how effective Koshka, woman or man. Let's find out to Google. Koshka Frost, Academy pilot. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's not useful. Anyone in any ideas? No ideas. Oh, she's got to be in something. Might be from FFG. Oh, well. no idea where Koshka Foss comes from. We will eventually work that one out. Right, let's just make sure that we have this in here. Let's get the XWS up and then we're ready to go and we'll start the timer. Close, paste, edit XWS, paste there, submit, done, start. Right, let's get some dials. Yep, as expected, Vader's on the flank. 
so I don't want to play with like Vader really. I'm going to leave him till last. Uh, I feel like the sensible opinion here is just to slowly let him come to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take on the joust because I think I'm more tanky than he is. It's interesting that Marek is just jousting as well. I don't think he has. Yeah, I mean, I want to hit him really hard on the first engage here because of the fact that his um, tie advanced are going to be looking for the target lock in the first engage. As they're not Vader, they're not going to be as good. So whilst I do want to kill Vermeil as quickly as possible, if I get a good pick onto Marek, then yeah, this could go well for me. We'll see. What is that bunny rabbit doing? Where is he? Unsure. Looks like he's hiding somewhere. Can't see him. Now oh, what? Well. So, womp womp. Go ahead forwards. Right, let's just turn some lights on here, two ticks. So let's uh, let's kick off from there. So Frosty, uh, one forward focus, and set. Let's get some tokens on the board. Boop, done. I reckon he's going to come in fairly fast here, if Wamper is anything to do to deal with. Um, really, I want to engage Vermeil at long range. I want to hit him at range three first. So, looks like I'm not going to be able to do that if he comes in super hot. Oh, coordinate, coordinate to Marek. Clever. I see what's going to happen. Does that stress out? Yep, he hasn't got the tactical. I like that. That's a good way of slowing him down. Well played, Bruno. That's clever. So uh, for those of you that missed that, um, the action for coordinate on Vermeil is red. Because the action is red, it gets him stressed. Because he's stressed, he doesn't have to do his ailerons move next turn. And that is a very, very big deal. Annoyingly, it also means that if he's willing to have Vermi without an action, it's a really good way of slowing him down next turn. However, Mistakes were made on this front. Also means that it leaves Marek, uh, leaves Vermeil very, very open for being shot. So I'm okay with that. Marek's now just sort of. He's saying just because, but I actually think that's a really nice opening. <laughs> uh, because you expect Vermeil to go fast, and it's a good way of slowing him down. I've I've seen it happening before. I do believe he made the mistake of uh, oh, the just because was to tie up the rock because Marek doesn't have any other good options. Yeah, I think it was a mistake to make Marek go so fast. As you can see, Fen is now ready to get angry. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We will see what we shall see. Cool. Uh, yeah, not the best time to stream, but hey, we'll see if anyone... Uh, I mean, normally I'm a bit later, so you catch both the American and the UK crowd, but um, hey, welcome to all six of you. Right, see what we got. Round two. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna break down my thinking with this list. I really like Fen and Terok, they're great. Uh, I have been flying, as some of you may have seen, Fen and Three Fangs, because th that's really strong. Um, but I'm curious about the third body. I tried out Han Solo in the Falcon, didn't like it very much. Played against someone using land, I really like that. That's a fun little list. Um, 
unsure how good the scum falcon is on its own but i quite like lando you put trick shot um l3 on him he's strong uh where is frosty going i feel like you just blast forward here but i don't really want to get shot by womp womp over there so womp is going to come screaming in with a three hard or a three bank I can either commit super, super hard to Vermeil. Um, and therefore get shot by everything. Or I can try and stay at long range and use some of my evade dice to help me, but then I will probably also get shot by everything. So I feel like... Why not just go for it? And... Accept the consequences seems sensible the nice thing is is that with terry i get to see where so five forward in a roll will put me there i can probably clear all the tokens off Marek and then just shoot him in the face that means that i need to go slower the fire spray because i need to fit the roll in so five forward is there that will go there fire spray goes two that's fine it leaves me open for shooting things also we'll get him i'm going to go one forwards with the spray gives me options does it give me a range 2 shot? yes yeah that'll be fine basically I want to get a range 2 shot on Marek when Marek inevitably bumps into Terry um, yeah we'll go from there sorry I just need to make sure that my little bunny rabbit isn't killing things uh, in the background. I'm actually going to go really conservative with Fen. I don't want to get shot by everything, so I'm only going to go two forwards. Um, that should be enough to get me shots on Marek, because I expect Marek to be the thing to kill this turn. And also allows me to set up for next turn. So there we go, let's see what Wampa does. fast with Fen. Oh well. Still, no issues. <laughs> See, the only frustration here is chucking... I'd love to put a little bit of background music on, but YouTube gets angry with me when I put background music on. It, I had to completely eliminate some of the music from my previous streams because, like, yeah, you just can't put Disney on a stream. They don't like it. Set. I I like Wampa's positioning. I don't like the fact he doesn't have a focus though. Yep, there is the inevitable one forwards. <clears throat> oh, he's doing it. So I think that's a really big mistake. Because of the facts that he he now can't stop next turn. I think that's a big mistake. For those of you wondering why I went quite so slow with the fire spray, it's because I should be able to fit in a decent move next turn past Terry. Now, question is how fast has Marek gone? So if I roll here, I'm probably going to get defense from Wampa. I might get out of range of Vader, so I think that's the most important thing. Because I wouldn't mind getting a decent shot on, but stress. There we go. Basically, Terok is going to take the hit for the team, end up without focus next turn, but, uh, because he's going to be super, super stressed. Uh, not quite going to manage that one. Uh, four forwards will probably fit, though. Ow! Should have done the one boost. Oh well. That's a super sad Tarok. Should have just gone for the boost. But if I'd done the boost, I would have got shot by Vader as well, and that would have been bad. If I still get shot by Vader, then oh well, I've made a mistake. 
but not getting shot by all three things is a good idea. Um, I can keep on to my focus of defense because he is going to be shooting Tarok here. That seems like a sensible decision. Oh, yeah, don't worry, man. You're miles onto the uh, range two. Might have been a bit close if I could do the old uh, barrel roll. If I'd have really committed to Marika, I would have done the boost. But, oh well. Yeah, um, if Turret was going to be able to get out of trouble next turn, uh, then I could have done the one forward boost into focus and then a hard two to the left because that probably would have got me out of range one of our friendly name here, Batman there. But we're just going to have to accept the uh, um, accept the fact that that's that. Sorry, it was indeed my move. Uh, so I think Fen just focuses and takes the free range one shot on the Death Troopers next turn, which is why he's there. So I've I've set up slowly here. Um, I know that I cannot, I I shouldn't be able to one round the Reaper unless I get lucky. So I've gone for the two round on the Reaper. Oh, that's very annoying. Hey, thank you, Chris. You're awesome. Um, yeah, I was hoping that that wasn't going to be in range. Damn. Now I have to defend against two shots without spreading my focus and then get totaled by for meal. So not the best first engage here for me. Should have probably gone aggressive. Um, was expecting the Burmeal to be a little bit further forward. Same thing with Marek. Probably should have gone further forward last turn. Would have been a good idea. But hey ho, live and learn. First time I've used this, so don't actually have a good opening. And there's a big difference. There's, uh, I think, one of the... Uh, no way, no range. No range for the turret trigger. Uh, one of the biggest differences in between your average player and your uh, your top level player is having a good deployment because it makes your life that much easier if you know what you're doing over the next few turns and you're not having to make it up off the top of your head. So, um, pew pew. Right, let's murder the meal here. Three for two. Let's see how much damage I can do to him. He's stressed, so Koshka is going to get a reroll, which is nice. Already seeing that ability get some use. He's Boba, but at all ranges, as long as the opponent is stressed. Okay, get the shield out. Let's see what Vader's got. Where's his force tokens for Vader? Because he did two things. He took a lock and a... Um... I um I like when you're using ships with force. Uh, a good way of keeping track of them is actually keep them by by the ship. There we go. So just now you know it's really easy to see. Uh, Mion's done a really good job. He's put the things on the side of the ship. Um, also, it pings into the chat because he's awesome like that. Um, don't show... Okay, so th this is interesting.
so you guys can probably see what I put in the vassal chat there. Um, basically, the what you're seeing here is the fact that Terok is so close to being out of range. And I'll zoom in so I can show you. So ridiculously close. So that is that is out of range on the firing arc, but as soon as you trigger, I'll just do it for you so you can see. As soon as you trigger the lock function, you can see that those things are slightly further out. You see that? And there's some mismatch in those lines. Uh, that is because of the measuring from the cardboard versus measuring from the... Oh, go away. That's not very nice. Um, yeah, so let's just deal with those two differences. Um, but yeah, annoying nonetheless, especially when your friendly neighborhood Vader just chucks a crit onto you at long range. I mean, I was expecting him to, but... Ugh. This is going to go well. Um, cool. Okay, at least I didn't have to spend the focus. It's not awful. I was hoping to dodge all of it, though. Right, Terry. Let's murder ourselves a Reaper. Go on, why is Vassal, Vassal going slow? Yeah, don't forget the console fire. Of course he does. Three focus tokens. Oh, Jesus. See, I engage badly, and that's why this is going badly, but also grumpy face. Yeah, that's. I'm not spending that focus. I'm just going to die. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, looks like I'm basically just going to trade Terok for a couple of shields here. I put the thing on the the damage card out and put that out. Right, let's see what the dice say. Fire control system says a crit, followed by two crits. Ah, oh, just the focus, sure. You spend that. Don't be a moron, I'm shooting it for meal. Yeah. There we go. Hey, this is why you spend the focus, uh, keep the focus, kiddies. That is why you, you save your focus when you're getting shot at with fangs, because, oh, God. Um, right, let's see what happens. I have faith. I have faith. I'm alive! That, yeah, so don't be too grumpy about the dice. <laughs> um, yeah, but you got Vader in when he shouldn't have been in, so. Right, Frosty, into, into Vermeil. Frosty, the proverbial snowman. I need to just look up her ability and make sure I've got it right. Koshka Frost, when you defend or perform an attack, if the enemy is stressed, you may re-roll one of your dice. Basically, Bobber. Re-roll. Spend focus. I'm going to call her, call her her. Ice Queen. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, well, that makes up for it. I would like to clear this console fire, but I'm not going to be able to because death troopers are mean and annoying. Okay, uh, dials. Well, I was saying that. I am going to be able to. I can do a full forward straight over there. And oh, forgot about that one. God damn it. Womp is really good. Really, really good. Get the obstructed at least. Wait a second. I'm an idiot. I only rolled four dice onto that obstructed shot against Vader. I'm not... Well, I missed it. I made a mistake. Oh, my God. That's... That's annoying. Damn it, green dice. Come on. Don't be that cruel. Right, dials and things. Dials and things. So, there is no reason for me not to do a hard three to the left with Terok and just get rid of Vader's focus. Um, the only reason that there would be to do other things is 
because basically I might actually be able to get the stress token off him. So the fire spray is going to do a full forward here, I think. I feel like that's a sensible move. And then just shoot out the butt. Because I, I think Marek is just going to clear out and go over the top. Uh, if he K-turns, that's amazing for me. So, yeah, Koshka is just going to go full forwards. Sit there, take a focus, thank you very much. Hopefully get shots. At least if he, if she doesn't, she'll get the shots next turn. Um, at which point, Vermeil is just probably going to poodle one forwards, if I'm honest. He might go faster. <coughs> <clears throat> that's my only worry if he goes three forwards then he can block Fen so Fen's got to do the hard one because a hard one from Fen should get shots uh, if it doesn't get shots on the meal then it will get shots on Wampa and just explode him in a single turn because that's what Fen does so Terok has got to avoid getting shot the best way of doing that is crashing into Vader and the best way of doing that is a hard three because he won't expect me to be there um, or maybe a three bank. Three bank won't crash him. Hard three at least gives me a chance. Maybe. If the meal goes fast. Uh, so this is actually quite hard to. Because if Emil goes fast, I can get away with a two bank. No, I can't. Range one bubbles there. Terry could do a five forwards. And try and get out next turn. But I can't want to force Vader to shoot him and not Fen. So if Emil can absolutely get nailed by Fen this turn. Yeah, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's just get those force tokens out of the way. If he doesn't want to use them, he doesn't want to use them. Uh, easier for you guys to keep, but you've got that little thing in the bottom left-hand corner, so you can have a look at that. Oh, this is a bad situation. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to... This is a really good test of how good the fire spray is, because I messed up Terok really badly. Interesting reasons for that. Um, have a look at my moves for last turn. Fen did a two forwards, Fire Spray did a one forwards, Terra did the five. Terra was the only one who didn't do similar things. If I'd have had everything at range three, that would have been fine. If I'd have had everything at close range, that would have been fine. As it was, there was one very obvious target separated from the rest of the group, which got picked on. And because of that, he took about the right amount of damage that he should have done regardless of the fact that I blanked out on that asteroid. The male should have really punched him in the face. Um, so yeah, not awful. I have Wampa options. This is good news. I always have options to barrel out of Wampa shots, which is also good news. Uh, right, Koshka. Toot toot. Zoom. Focus. I hope he goes fast. Because if he goes fast, I get butt shots. But I might actually target lock. No, I get rerolls from my ability, so don't target lock. That's a stupid thing to do. I think he's going to barrel on Marek. Hey. So, don't you just love it when the plan comes together? So, Vermeil is dead. Like, entirely dead this turn. And I imagine... Is the three forward white? No, it is green. I thought it was green. So he's keeping the stress. So again, Koshka gets re-rolls, which is great. Focus into link barrel roll to do a one forwards? Probably. Maybe a two. I really hope Tarot doesn't just hit the asteroid. After dialing in a hard three. <laughs> we'll see. Might be a bit close. The irony is, is that Terok might have just blocked um, 
Marak here, which could be hilarious. Oui. Everything's fine. Um, so I knew I was never going to clear the stress, so why bother doing a green move? Just try and get out the way. So I've got out the way of one of them, maybe not the other. Maybe I just get pincered by both. Oh, hello. So this is very interesting. I might be able to get a range one shot into Marek here with Fen. Or I might actually be able to dodge both of their arcs with one boost. So let's see what we got. So that's that. And then if I boost, I can stay there. I can stay there and get a shot on Vermeil, kill him, and get range one defense bonuses on both of those guys. I can boost straight forwards because it should fit. And if I boost straight forwards, where's oh, I might even I might even dodge Marek shot if I boost straight forwards, but I might not. Oh, that's a really hard call. Proper zoomy zoom. I don't think so. There's the front of my base. There's Marek. I don't have Fearless, but I do really want to kill Vermeil. So I think we're going to stay there and just punch Vermeil really hard in the face because he needs to die. And maybe Vader will crash into Terry. You never know. Three bank? Boop. Probably a one bank. And again, if he does a one bank, he has to shoot Terra for not Fen. Which is great. There we go. Or he just barrels, but Um Yeah. I like that. So this is why you, if if you have an injured ship, put your injured ship in annoying positions. Make sure that your opponent has to kill them, otherwise they're taking a range one shot. And if Vader stays there, there's no point in him taking a focus, because Terok just goes, I'll have that, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I wonder if he's going to spot. Mm, David, if you're watching online, please don't touch things when you're observing games. It's bad etiquette. Yeah, no point in focusing. Terok just says, I'll have that, thank you very much. I mean, I'd love you to spend a force, but nah. Oh, I should definitely up update these points. Um, so, Terok has taken all of the damage and still has a console fire, which may kill him. Uh, Vermi has taken both of his shields in a hull and is at half as well. So actually, we are tying on points because of the way that points rounding works. Isn't that nice? Annoyingly, if I Trevor Mill for... Ooh, he did do the barrel roll. Curious. Okay. Uh, he still has the target lock, so that's fine. He didn't spend any force. Right. So uh, let's murder things. Vermeil. Five dice. Uh, not ideal. I mean, Fen can probably take all of this and he still goes focus, so everything should be fine. Thank you for the sub. Ooh, that's a lovely name. Good job, PJ. Take all the crits. Go on. So it would be nice to have Fearless Fen. I've given uh, a Proton Bomb to Koshka instead of Fearless. Well, two crits is still going to sting. Blinded Pilot. Oh, weapons. Yes, this is good. This is really good news. Okay, structural damage as well. That should mean that Koshka will very easily finish off the meal. Um, right, Vader, let's see what you're... Let's see what you've got for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he says Savage, but Fen could have very easily just nuked the meal in one shot there, so take what you give him. Take what you give him. 
4v3. Come on, Terry. Probably not going to survive this. Blank. Go on. I believe in you. Ah, oh, he's dead. Curses. Oh, come on. Almost. I mean, console fire would have probably killed him anyway, but I'm curious. Would I have been it? Oh, I would have had a shot as well. Damn. So, yeah, he's done. He's dead. One, and the crit was... Oh, direct hit. Lovely. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Okay. Uh, Marek has a pop at Fen. I've probably used up all my evade dice now. Because, screw you, vassal. Hello, bunny. Hip. Stop getting the actual... Hey, Chivers. Good to see you. I... I dislike you. I dislike completely average dice sometimes. Fuel leak could be worse. Could be worse. Oh Jesus, how many? How many? Is it three? Because Marek. Well, looks like that'll be a direct hit then, doesn't it? I mean, I'm just going to guess for him. And put those two away. Really? Alright. Shen's going to be out of the fight next turn. That was a mistake. You should have just uh, returned to deck. I feel like you should have taken the guaranteed damage on Fen. Because Fen doesn't actually mind so much about that. He just gets to range one and goes boop, don't care. Yeah, he's realised he made a mistake. Uh, Vermeil. Let's see what you got, buddy. I imagine better than last time. Yeah. So, oh, that would have been nice. Okay. Koshka, Alt F. No, Alt B. Control V. Control V. Four V zero. With a reroll. Blat. Blat. Angry. I like this falcon. So, considering points uh, points values here, Koshka on her own without the proton bomb is seventy one. Right, that is dead Vermeil. Uh, that is a dead Terry. I'm losing by one point. That's my range one bubble. It's going to be there. Is it worth dumping one? Probably. Ew. Ew. That's not very nice. Everything is fine. See, this is why you don't mind getting fun at range one of things. Uh, because he just does that and goes, nope, don't care. Do not care. Right, so Fen has taken a hit. He's got a weapons failure. So he's probably going to go away now. Wampa doing a 4k will put him there, which should put him in range of the proton. Probably, maybe. It's going to be close. I'm going to drop one anyway because I'm like that. Uh, and I think we're going to do a K turn here. A, a talent roll. Because talent rolls are good. I love the fact that Fire Spray has talent roll. This is an interesting game. Uh, I feel like... So I've got the annoyance out of the way, uh, and now I have the hard work to do. I really need to get down one of one of uh, Bruno's ships here. doesn't really matter which one. 
I just need to do some serious damage because if I don't then I'm in trouble so I think Fen just goes away for a little while Fen goes thank you very much I'm gonna clear my weapons thing uh, because he's doing that Koshka is gonna join in and is also just gonna bug out goodbye do not want so whilst the tattle armor will be brilliant here it's much much better to just keep your ships alive and not get shot and then come back later what's the time 40 minutes left you still got loads of time in this yep oh uh systems uh it's not the old game Uh, obviously he can then choose to do a new thing just boot that out there yeah I think he's okay with doing that <clears throat> I mean I'm not expecting this to hit anyone but it's worth putting it there anyway so we'll just flip one of those cool Um, let's see what we got. Yeah. Okay, so Koshka. Does one of those. Doesn't want to get shot by Womp Womp and wants to shoot Vader, so boosts. There we go. as expected Womp is probably going to get shot me here anyway actually let's see what I get on Vader though I should get a shot on Vader uh, flip the crit K-Town should fit next time. I don't think I need actions here. Vader shouldn't be able to shoot me. He can't want bank. So, weapons fade is fine. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's satisfying. That's really satisfying. At least I get a shield on Vader. Hey, Proton Bomb made its points. How many points is Vader? 67. Yeah. Divide 67 by 5. More than 5. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Oh. Well, that just seems like a waste. Forced to lock. Getting that one in early. Sure. <coughs> Kaboom, Vader takes a shield. Alrighty. So, no one else in range. So, butt canon. Pew pew. Alright. And he's got four, so let's see what we got here. Three v four, just the one. Close, almost did it. Um, Wampa is now going to get a shot on me, which is obstructed. That's okay. Let's see what happens. Probably some damage, I would expect, because red dice are better than the green dice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Balls, that is not ideal. Stop doing that. Whoops, I can just move that. Did I? Did I? No, that's fine. Uh, I just clicked on it, I didn't actually move the thing. Right. Let's get rid of that, it doesn't matter anymore. So here's a question, where do we go from here? One bank? So probably hard three around the asteroid to flank? Yeah. Might chuck out my other bomb here 
gonna be there. No, he can just he can just get out of it. There's no point. <coughs> Not having a hard three on the fast race sucks, by the way. Like that's really really annoying. Uh, one bank and a boost, two bank and a boost. Yeah, maybe even a three bank, honestly. Yeah, three bank boost. God, you've yeah that hard missing the hard three is a really big deal. And the base size, you got to go a lot faster than you used to. Fast boost don't move as fast, even though they got a boost. But they turn tighter, so that's nice. I think expert handling and the fire spray is now a legitimate idea. Um, now, a one bank and a barrel roll would allow our friendly neighborhood Marek to get shots on me, but he's done a stupid and he's blocked himself with Vader. So actually, I think Fen does the two turn roll here and says, hello. I'm ready to shoot you. Because, yeah. Uh, does he? Nope. Nope, he doesn't. He does the 4K. 4K? 4K. Yeah. Because Vader's going to be turning, so that's fine. Cool. No systems, but he didn't wait for me to do it anyway. Would have been close, probably not. I reckon that would have been just out of range. Leaves me open for a nice, easy, too hard next turn. Come back in. Hmm. Donk. Shocking behaviour. <laughs> Sorry, my bunny rabbit is literally chewing the door right now. He's not clever. Uh, right, 4K. Boop. Beautiful. Lines him up for next turn. Stop that. Right, two seconds. Chasing a rabbit. BRB. Vader does Vader things. Okay, that's good for Vader for next turn. That's another thing people don't think of enough. Um, hey, good to see you, Andreas. Uh, Fen has no shot, miles out. Long way away from things. So, yeah. Um, Another thing that people don't do enough is make sure that you keep your range uh, against certain ships. So Fen, for example, really, really likes range one. Like he wants to be at range one all the time. So doing that with Vader means that Vader is very easily able to do a hard two there and not get ruined by an angry Fen. Now... The real question is hard to from Marek. Hard to from Marek puts him in danger range of that asteroid. Uh, whether or not Bruno knows it or not is another question. So I can maybe get aggressive here and try and get lucky. So 3 4 puts me there. Boost puts me there, which puts me right in range to Vader. 2 bank allows me to shoot Vader. A 3 forward and a boost allows me to pick on Wampa. Wampa is less points than half a Fen. Do your math, people. Keep Fen safe. Set. So yeah, this could be interesting. Um, so no systems, obviously. Let's 
I'm hoping he just comes around the corner. <laughs> Maybe I should have done a hard one here. I right, wanted the one of the range. So I'm going to turn off Warmer's ability by shooting him, which is nice. Um, I'm just going to take a focus here, I think, because there's no reason to get closer to things that are going to do me physical pain, and that is why. Next turn, nice three bank. I've got to be careful because I might get blocked by Womp Womp. I feel like a full forward and a boost is a good decision for next turn. Just kill Vader, drop bombs on things. We'll see. Right. Um, I am very happy with having asteroids for safety, so I'm just going to stay there. Set. Seriously consider the 5 forward there, but it wouldn't have gained me anything. Vader's just going to come around the corner, as he does. If he decides to barrel roll, then he's spending his force, which is good for me. <coughs> Next turn, a nice hard one barrel roll. Hard two barrel roll, actually. Uh, will mean that Vader won't actually be able to shoot me, which is grand. And for this turn, we're just going to trade shots through an asteroid which is fine by me because it means I'm less likely to take damage. I say that. <laughs> Spends a force. Yep. Right, watch him get the crit through here. Watch me be super sad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There he goes. That's two crits. And we're safe. Cool. So into Womp Womp. Range three. Three v four. He's complaining about it. Shoot me through an asteroid with a focus. I didn't spend my focus. You've got three symbols too. Um, set. Turn off one visibility. Very nice. Ooh, that was lucky. Yeah, previous one, not so lucky. This one was lucky. Know when your dice are average. Although, maybe it's just better to complain about everything. 26 minutes. Need to pick this up. Need to do some damage. I'm going to be really annoyed. Oh, there we go. If that was range 2 for him, because Vassal does that sometimes, as you saw. Just the 1, rolls the 3, says thank you very much. Right. So, he's doing pretty badly with Marek here. Hard to... So the hard one puts me there, and the barrel puts me there, which may get me shot. The hard two puts me there, and the barrel puts me there, which shouldn't get me shot. But then probably won't let me shoot Wampa, which is annoying. But if I can block Vader and then shoot him in the face with Koshka, then that is always good news. So let's try that. That seems sensible. <laughs> The other thing that I'm considering is the three bank. If Wampa decides to be sneaky and do a 4k, then I go straight over the top of him. I'm expecting him to do a hard two, though. So th this is the thing. Th we now have a guessing game. We now have a guessing game, which is quite annoying. Um, I'm fairly happy with what Fen's going to do. He does a hard two to there and then barrels backwards. Either blocks Vader or Vader goes straight over the top of him, which is great. Now, oh no, that's a much better move. Hard one to the right with Koshka. Should line up Wampa if he comes in for the block. The only thing it doesn't get. Did the hard two fit? I think the hard two fits. Yeah, that's a much better angle. Um, 
The only thing it doesn't get is it doesn't get Marek, and then Marek just gets to shoot me, which is annoying. But then I get to shoot Marek twice. Um, thought I wouldn't throw and bomb things. On bank? It's just pure guessing game here. Feeders are hard to. God, much still on forwards. There isn't a good option here. I'm going to go in Ballsy because I think he's going to go for a block. So, see if we can predict that. First move, best move. That's going to be close, but it should clear him. Probably, maybe. Boom. Did it. Um, now, what I really, really want to do uh, is I really, really, really want to do the boost. But then if I boost, I block Fen. So actually, I just focus. Yeah, as Bruno is saying, it is literally just the 50-50. You've just got to try and guess what your opponent's going to do. And looks like I guessed correctly. I was expecting him to do the hard three. In which case, yeah, the hard three was a much, or the hard two was a much better call there. Right, one of those, and <sighs> yeah, I've just got to go for the block. Um, I am also going to stress myself because a hard two fits next turn. And I get shots of Marek. Dunk. This was a good turn. Reason it was a good turn, he left himself with very few options with Vader. I knew where Vader was going to be. I've said a couple of times now on the on here, do not put yourself next to asteroids. Do not put yourself next to asteroids. Uh, because it makes you predictable. You can only go one way. Now, Fen. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. 3 v 4. 3 dice. Spend the focus. Shouldn't do anything. Nah, 50 50 chance. There's the 50 50. Does one shield. Okay. Now, um, I have a choice to make. Vader. Vader, Vader, Vader. That is range. Oh. That's the hard choice to make. Not spending his force. I get two dice, double evades. I think we shoot Wampa. If I do one damage, I halve him, and that's my victory condition. Yep. Right, let's see what we got. Two natural evades to survive that, or to dodge it completely. Yep, got one. So he spends the evade, he survives, but I halve him, which means I'm now up in points. Only just, but I'm up on points. I drop the bomb next turn, which should catch his K turn, so he's got to run away. Uh, Fen can. I'm not sure what Fen can do actually. I think the fire spray does a hard two. Because if Fen does a two bank here, he risks. I mean, I can I can absolutely just line up on Marek, but then I have an angry Vader on my tail, and I can't really get. Because of the order of the moves, I can't really do this well. Because I want to full forward boost, then there and barrel. So that that could work. I could get a rear butt shot on Vader, but it would be unmodded. Um, 
feel like a hard one. Where, where can he go? He's doing a hard two there. Hard one from Fen to put him there should block most of Vader's moves. And a hard one. Hard two and a boost? Would also put me in a pretty good position. But I don't want to get shot by Marek. Four forwards it is. Four forwards it is. Uh, just carry on blasting over the top of people. So Frosty is done. Because I don't want to get shot by Marek. That's going to hurt. Vader has at least got to move his... Um, yeah. So if I do the four forwards, I will fit the hard two from Fen, followed by the barrel roll, which should block. That's fine. Set. Let's murder Marek. Boop. Here comes the proton bomb. Ah, not quite. It's worth a shot. You never know. Might get Marek with it though, which is important. Boop boop. Focus up. Nope. Sorry. I'm messing with my triggers. Accidentally. Right. Aha! He did spot it. I mean, I was expecting him to. That's why you do the uh, nope cone, basically. Now, question number two. If I boost to, to shoot Marek, <laughs> am I going to be able to get a shot? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Right. <laughs> Adjusting. I'm hoping I can still kill him. Yeah, I can still get a shot on him there. And I get a reroll. Looks good to me. Let's just zoom in and make sure. He really doesn't want to get shot. Not quite. There we go. If uh, if you got the ship selected, it has a nice yellow line around it, which messes off your um, adjustments. Okay, Fen. Very nice. I cannot boost into range of that. So, what I want to do is I want to catch Vader right behind Koshka. If I can. So... What's the likelihood of Vader doing things? Vader could 4K. He could do the hard three, in which case he's royally screwed. Um, he could talent roll. He could do a one forward. So I've got to catch all of those things. I think we do a standard roll because where do I need him to be? I need him to be there. Actually roll forwards. Um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy up Fen here so that I can barrel roll him there and then barrel roll him there. And see which one I want to do. So I actually want to do the forward one because it's not a range of the bomb and it gives me a possible shot at Vader if he crashes into Fen. And oh, sorry, I've got to take a focus. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, sure, that works. <laughs> what it also does is it might give me a shot at Wampa, maybe. 
something from Fen, which would be grand. Um, right, well this made life interesting because... Hey, good to see ya. Afternoon indeed. Yeah, Fire Sprays have many, many good options. It's great to see. Sorry, I haven't been paying as much attention to the uh, chat here as I should have been. Um, I can see you all now. Uh, Fen, yeah, let's uh, let's check. Let us see what we got. Um, in range, out range, is in range with a rock, with a rock. So three v five. Um, oh, also explosions does nothing. Congratulations, we all knew that. Should have given him seismic. Oh. Yeah, probably should have given him seismic charges actually. Um, oh, sure, that's the thing that happened. Oh my god, it happened to Terok, and then it happened to Wampa. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say that averages out, but I'm going to take it. Gift horse and mouth and stuff. That is a very sad TIE Fighter. Huh. So half a Fen is 34 points. So I can't lose half a Fen. Half a Koshka is more than 34 points. So I can't really lose, lose half a Koshka. Uh, for those of you wondering, you spend the target lock in this situation with Vader. As he's done now. Oh boy, this could hurt. Come on. Oh man, that's not good. I need two squiggles. That's not two squiggles. I'm going to take it. I really don't want to take two crits, but I really need to hurt him here. Um, if I take three health, I go down to half anyway. Is it worth... No, I, I need to hit him in the face. I need to half Vader. If I lose Koshka, I need to half Vader. So, risk reward, number one, wounded pilot. Actions give you stress. Number two, loose stabilizer. If I don't go straight, then I take damage until I flip that over. Lovely. Koshka, one, two, three says ow and I am now losing so I think we try and kill Vader probably yeah well that's the only shot we got oh there it is that's what we needed I can't be too grumpy at that but I am a little bit grumpy Could have done with, could have done with another damage there to get the half points. That's, ugh. Okay. Right. Um, I feel like Koshka is gonna die, like, really, really quickly. So we need to kill Vader. We really need to kill Vader. Um. Again with the barrel roll. If I had a barrel, roll, I could just hard one and then. Up there. Where is Vader going to go? Yeah, um, this is curious. So the thing is, is that Fen Fen doesn't really have as many good options here. I shouldn't have stressed him, but I got the kill on one person, so that's fine. Um, I feel like I can't easily keep my fire spray alive uh, if I stay there, so I'm just going to have to bug out. Like this, The win condition here is that I halve one of them. So Koshka has got to just get out. Get out of dodge. Uh, she's going to take the crit from the stabilizer um she's just gonna take the hit there wounded pilot 
I'm going to hope I don't get a stress next turn. doesn't really matter because I just do a hard two and I boost. What hard two and boost means is that Vader cannot turn and get a shot on me and I get a shot on Vader, which is nice. And then hopefully we're going to see Fen do some damage to Marek. Maybe. We'll have to see. The important thing is that Vader has gotten rid of his... Nothing. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, Scum and hyperspace is very jousty. You haven't got any of the jank that you had in extended. Um, I mean, most of the scum that I'm playing in hyperspace is uh, fangs. I mean, the janky bit is the falcon, I suppose. But there isn't enough jank. I think rebels in the new edition are interesting. Hyperspace Rebels, eh. I'm tempted to say go Y-Wings or go home, but you've got Lair in there, which is nice. You can't fit the... Uh... <laughs> Try Scum Lando. Scum Lando is much more fun. Scum Han is just... He does what he says on the tin. Um, yeah... I think jankiness wise, you're probably looking at resistance, that bomber. Yeah, for sure, Kay. I'm really liking your uh, your light job on those as well. If anyone is looking for anyone to do lighting, oh my god, hit up Kay. Also, dice mats, those are pretty good as well. Uh, there you go, I've done your advertising for you, Kay. You're welcome. Ooh, takes damage. And boost for your life. Bye bye. Uh, so we are down to three hull remaining, but that's fine because we're already on half. And we take a damage card. We roll for the crit. I take a stress. <laughs> yeah, she is considerably safer there than she would have been if she turned up this way. So I'm all right with that, you know? That's uh, that's good. Oh, please. Please roll this way. Oh, he's running away. He's getting cat. Um, cool, sorry. Just getting back to the chat. Hey, Vader. Good to see you're useless. Yeah, so this is why I did the turn. Fully expected Vader to go there. He's in Koshka's arc as well right now. So I think he just takes a focus. Um, while Fen sort of slides up behind Marek. Oh, whoops. Yeah, sorry. Completely forgot about that. Uh, that I, I do things first, don't I? That's fairly important. Uh, there is no way in hell a Kirby Beast is going to fit. Is the straight boost going to allow me to still take a shot? I can't barrel roll. Barrel rolling puts me in front of that asteroid for next turn. And it's close, but it will. So we're going to straight boost. Set. Yeah, that kind of stuff's a lot easier to judge on table. It's when you get diagonals and vassal that it's hard. So we're just going to see if we can ping Marek here and do as much damage as humanly possible. Annoyingly enough, I know where Marek's going to be next turn, so I really shouldn't have stressed myself out. Um, oh well, we're just going to have to deal with that consequence. Uh, three Y-Wing and a U-Wing list in the last weekend. Two Torps and Leia. Ooh, Torps and Leia. Curious. Uh, Biggs, two Selfless Ion Gold Squadrons and... Ooh, Selfless Gold Squadrons. That's fun. Yeah, good shout in us. Right. Let's see what you got, beastie. 3v3. Welcome to the dice game. Spend the focus. Come on, show me blanks. Shouldn't die here. Yeah, there we go. Average. Average dice is average. Um, okay. 
Control V. No dials. Right. This is where I just continue to run for the hills. Where we got four minutes. What his dice? TLFJ, no idea what he's saying. Explain. Uh, Koshka goes, nope, I don't want to play this game anymore. And we'll just carry on running. Oh, for it, I, I've, yeah, I've, I've been complaining all game. I've been complaining. Don't you worry. I feel like this, uh, like, game-wise, this has been pretty average. I... I'm just going to have to turn in here. It doesn't matter if he blocks me. That's fine, because I can then turn into Vader and get shots on Vader. Uh, if he's running... I don't think he realises that he's up in points here. Possibly he's also not playing for the time, because I have the timer right next to me. So this is a little bit of a... Um, unfair comparison, if you like. Oh, dice is bugged. It's locked up on me. Give me a sec. Hip. Um. There we go. Woo. Stress, I think. I think that's a crit as well. Yep. Annoyingly enough, I am going to have to flip my crit soon. Yep, there he goes. There's the hard... Oh, no, it's the one bank. Yep, there's the barrel roll. Oh, he's pointing himself at the asteroid. That's good news. doesn't matter all three of them block me so it literally doesn't matter everything is fine I'm kind of I'm expecting the uh, the three talent roll with uh, with Vader here Tunk. yeah I mean <sighs> yeah I don't think he's got me in range. That's definitely cheating. There we go. Might have me in range. Ah, uh, see, I was gonna do the two forwards and then a hard, and then a barrel roll, which would have got me good options, but mm, would have been interesting. Right, let's see. Pew pew, your shot. Piles. Right, let's uh, just get one on the table just in case. I think Costco can just chill out now. She doesn't have to worry. Uh, might as well do the three because nothing's chasing her. Will this be last round? Yeah, this. Let's at least let him know that this will be the last round on time. Um, so, what I now need to do is I need to do damage to something. Expected moves here. Uh, I am fully expecting him to just deal one bank with Vader. I expect Koshka to do a one, can't do one forwards, one bank. Clear the stress. Maybe a barrel roll. So if we do the standard one bank, then my one hard will bump. 
really tempted to Talon, but that will just get me killed. So I think we chuck down the hard three and gun for Vader here and just trade. Because Fen can absolutely take no damage at range one. Um, and just explode Vader. So, uh, Koshka flips the crit because doesn't want to continue taking damage. Uh, oh, the suffer one damage and repair this card. Definitely forgot to do that. Um, flip the wounded though, because I want to stop taking stress. That would be nice. Um, yep, there we go. Ugh. I think he's just going to stay there, which is why I've done the hard three. I thought that wouldn't go quite as far because uh, annoyingly enough the one hard will fit there which I'll show you in a second so I, that's just cost me the game damn damn to damn 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 oh well I was curious so I'm because I'm curious and it's also really important to do this nope and there we go let's uh, let's put that there yep that would have been absolutely fine but I didn't do that I didn't do that because I'm stupid so uh, I did one of those and we just go tunk Yes, we do. And I don't get shot on Vader, and I'm very sad. Because... Yeah. Mm, well, winnable. Let's see what happens. He has four mods, I don't. Save me, Duncan. <laughs> you absolutely barrel roll. You take the barrel roll. You roll the barrel and you don't get shot. Yeah, um I would have lined up <laughs> Yeah, there he goes. Uh I, I would have lined up Marek here if I had the option. Sorry, that was loud. Um, yeah. So I think you put a roll there, you should still have a shot. I think that's fine. Well, Fen is going to have a pop. Nope. Unless you get the triple blanks, which definitely didn't happen. And I feel like this is going to be a one shot. <laughs> okay. I mean, you had mods. You didn't need them. Poof. Let's see the direct hit. Come on. Damage engine. Not dead, but half points on Fen anyway. Yeah, I messed up the turret there. That was my fault. Oh, well. Yeah. That was that was a good game. I enjoyed that. I think mistakes. Um, the engagement from Terra was a massive mistake. I think I should have just gone forwards with everything. I think the tie advance are better than everyone gives him credit for. This is the second time I played against Marek. He's impressed me both times. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, people are just like, oh no, I can't play Bad on Stream. It's fine. I play Bad on Stream every evening. Everything is fine. Um, but playing badly means you learn from your mistakes. So, yeah, engagement was definitely bad. Let's turn that off. Couple of 50 50 calls. I mean, this one was 50 50 call on Fen. 
boost would have got me a range one on beta. I'm curious. So if we'd done that, I would have got five dice. Of course, this is why you don't roll dice afterwards because it makes you really sad. Would have got half points. Vader shoots me back. Does that. Rerolls two. Gets that. That's a hit. I roll four. I die. So that's fine. Um. Yeah. Yeah, unsure. Unsure. I feel like I, I didn't get the most out of the fast spray there. And that's down to not having played much with the fast spray. And 1.0, I played pretty badly when I used the fire spray. 1.0 sprays were hard. These are arguably harder, I think. They don't have uh, expertise and other things to rely on, or missiles. Boba, a lot of people say, oh, just fly Boba, it's easy, but you need good decision making with fire sprays. I'm much more of an ace player, I like using my boost and barrel roll. The fire spray is just too clunky. So yeah, good game, bad engagement. Should I really like his list because everything needs to die first. And as a hyperspace list, yeah, that's really strong. It's really strong. I'm curious to see how this would match up against the fangs. I feel like Vermeil would have a bad time in the first engagement. And then it's a matter of killing Vader and Marek, which is really hard. But you need ships to block them. I think where this list falls down is versus the swarm. It just can't do enough versus that. Um, and that's a big issue. That's a very big issue. Proton bomb on the fire spray didn't have as much impact. Oh no, sorry, we're talking about a standard tie swarm. Um, like this, if this is hyperspace against phantoms, this would get wrecked. Like everything gets wrecked against phantoms. The only thing that doesn't get wrecked against phantoms is something like redline, and even then he gets like dumpstered pretty hard. Uh, when you're playing against phantoms, it's, yeah, I mean, I get that, you, yeah, but whatever ends up in front of the swarm will die, and it's not going to be Wampa, Wampa is not going to end up in front of the swarm. They don't like the crits. So I feel like if I was playing this engagement, you you dumpster, you dumpster out for meal ASAP, and then it's a case of how quickly can you kill those two aces. And I think Bruno played this pretty well in terms of he played it well at the end of the game. He was getting more used to it. Um, you could see him using the barrel rolls on the uh, advanced for positioning. Uh, I think if he was w um, if he was not careful, he'd get blocked up way too easily with his advanced, and then they just pop. Uh, there was a couple of times where Vader just went, "Hey, I got through a Vader," uh, which is like not like it happens, but it did get him out of trouble a couple of times. So it's like that big range one shot from Koshka just got naddied out of and he only took one damage so that that was my big play and it didn't pay off because dice but yeah i feel like with four ships you've got a better chance against the swarm but i don't like the advanced versus lots and lots of ships they're great like when he didn't have to move things around um i I don't think anyone has an unnatural fear of phantoms at this point. Uh, pretty much everyone has a very real fear of phantoms. Um, uh, yeah, but that that's just straight up cheating. So, yeah, get good. <laughs> um, four phantom lists in the SOS? Yeah, I expect quite a few. Honestly, I think that the system opener is going to be filled with three things. Uh, one of those is going to be T-70s, one of them is going to be Phantoms, and the other one is going to be Redline. Uh, 
maybe Death Rain as well. Presently, I'm deciding which one of those to use because I'm a horrible person. Um, yeah, I think that's that's going to be the uh, the big ones. Um, also, system open. It's after way three drops. So hey, probably Jedi, right? Jedi, maybe some humongous uh, vulture swarms. I expect those could be quite good. So yeah, all in all, there's going to be some scary things out. Uh, question is going to be what ends up being the most scary. Um, and actually, what ends up, what what do people decide to play? Because it's going to come down to what the best players decide to put practice in on. Yeah, I've, I'm really happy that most pe people are playing Hyperspace right now. Like, Hyperspace is really good. Um, I think when we will eventually drift back to a standard, there'll be a lot more fun things. Spamming silly lists. By silly lists, you mean things that win, right? Um, yeah, I. you're going to get a lot of variation. Uh, so that take that with a bit of a pinch of salt. Like, it's going to be full of phantoms. Um, it's not going to be full of phantoms. There's going to be literally everything. There's 600 players. Uh, a lot of those are coming. Maybe not that. Let's not get too excited. Um, there's going to be people coming from all over uh, Europe, even some Americans. Uh, so, yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of variation. But I think once you get up to the top tables, there'll be a couple of really good swarm players up there if they decide to take swarms. Um, I think there will be a couple of high quality and surprising two ship lists. I feel like Han and something will do well, but there was a Han and Hera list that popped up near Brighton. That was interesting. But yeah, I, I feel like your your big contenders, your the ones that you're going to see at both ends of the bracket are going to be Punishers, T70s and Phantoms. You're going to see people using them because they think they're a silver bullet. You're going to see people using them and doing well with them because they put the practice in. And I think if you wanted a list that is going to get you past those first two rounds, uh, then Phantoms is a good one to do it. But put the practice in because they're not just a win button. Uh, I think Hyperspace, yeah, they'll, they'll rotate it. I really want to see B-Wings in Hyperspace. I am super excited for B-Wings. I really like my B-Wings. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what we find. I uh, I think I'm not sure when they're going to do the hyperspace rotation because they've they've let us know that they're going to do points rotations twice a year. I feel like it'd be really cool if they did. I I expect them to do ship rotations for hyperspace with the points rotations. Um, but yeah, yeah, Braylon, Braylon's great. Makes me sad he's not Ken Farlander anymore though. Uh oh. My first tournament list was um, Kayan, Nero Dantels, and Jake. Uh, everything from the Rebel Aces box. That was really fun. And terrible. Like, putting 40 points into a B-Wing that can fire 360 torpedoes sounds like a really good idea, but it just dies. Um, yeah. Well, that was good. I enjoyed that. So, yeah. Right. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. Have yourselves a wonderful evening, guys. Um, this will be uploaded to YouTube and Twitch when I get it up. Also, uh, I'm going to be uploading uh, some of my league games. Uh, I've been having some fun with that, and they're <laughs> I had a couple of really close games. Uh, so I'm going to do some commentary on that, hopefully with some guest commentators. Might see Phil DC on there. Um, Sud Scooter Joe, who's won a couple of the Vast Leagues recently, has been asking whether or not he can do some commentary, so that'd be really good. And yeah, we'll get those uploaded and uh, out to you soon. More content with the Content Pro. Hey, have a good evening, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, goodbye. May the Force be with you.